In this BMC Helix Control M video, we will explore the basics of the Agent File Watcher. Your business applications may create or delete files on a regular basis, and that action may then kick off other processes. Control M provides an easy utility that lets you handle watching for a file to let you then perform other actions within your job flows. There are several ways to run the File Watcher, as well as many different options. Behind the scenes, the agent runs the CTMFW command for this functionality. What we'll do here though is show how to set up a file watcher job in Control M to demonstrate how it runs the utility and show the various options you can use for watching a single file. In the planning domain, I have a workspace open with a simple job flow to demonstrate a file watcher. In this case, payroll can only start when a certain file is received to the incoming directory. The first job is our file watcher itself is noted by the job type at the top. Set the host to the agent where you want the job to run, and then set run as to the user that will watch for the file. In this demo, we will run on a Linux host, but the same syntax and parameters are available for watching one file on a Windows host. The remaining parameters we will configure are all related specifically to the file watcher job type. Path is the full path and file name to the file you are working with. For example, in the inbound directory of our payroll application, we are looking for a daily update file. You can use wildcards in the name or specify the full name if known. A wildcard will catch only the first file it finds. It won't watch for more than one file that meets the criteria. Set the mode to whether you want to look in the above directory for the file to be created or deleted. If you use a wildcard in the file name and you also want to monitor the file size and age parameters of the file found, select this option. It is not required, but if there is a wildcard in the name, the size, interval, and iterations parameters are only available if you select this option. Default values are then shown in the remaining fields, so adjust them to what makes the most sense for the file being watched in the job. The first few relate to the minimum size of the file and how often you want to check the file before you consider the file watch complete. This is helpful when the incoming file is from a transfer or copy and you want to wait until it gets to a certain size before the watch completes. Pay attention to the time limit field. The default is zero, which means unlimited time. If you only want to watch for a limited time and then end the job, set this value to match how long you want to watch. The remaining parameters relate to when you want the file watch attempt to begin or stop and the minimum or maximum age of that file. This is helpful when using a wildcard and there may be many files meeting the criteria, but you only want the most recent file. Further details on the parameters can be found online by clicking the drop down by your name and selecting documentation, then searching on CTMFW. Here is an example of what you will find when searching for CTMFW after clicking documentation in Control M. When we execute this job flow and check in monitoring, we see our watch job is yellow and is holding up payroll processing while it waits for the file to arrive. Recall that we left the time limit field as zero, so this job will run forever until either it is killed or the file arrives. Switching to the agent, I am in the inbound directory of my payroll application where we are watching for the file. I'll create the file to simulate a transfer or copy of it into the directory. In the job definition we set up earlier, we left the file size as zero, so the simple existence of the file is enough to end the file watcher job. Back in monitoring, we see the job went green after the search interval finished, and then the rest of the flow was able to continue. In the output, we see the CTMFW command it builds to run on the agent, and then indeed, it found the file and ended OK. Thank you for watching this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. File Watcher has other capabilities such as watching for multiple files in one command or running as a service on Windows in addition to command line. The online documentation shown earlier will have more details on all these options. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos related to Control-M SAS.